The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. When they said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my God and my, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The place where we have our novitiate is a place uh, in the high ranges of Kerala, the state of Kerala in India. And uh, when we were there, there was a big pond where we used to go for our daily bath. It was, it was difficult because water wasn't very, um, it was hard to actually pump water. We had to walk all the way down the hill uh, to put on the pump and then pump the water right up. So the priest didn't like us taking a bath on top in the normal bathrooms. He'd send us off to that, that pond. It was a good place to swim. Um, one day, one of our brothers, when we were all going over there, by the time he reached over there, he slipped and he fell into the pond. Um, he's a good swimmer. So we were not bothered, but we were waiting for him to, you know, for his head to pop up so that uh, we can then pull his leg about him having fallen. But he was even smarter than us. After having fallen down, he put up a spectacle about how amazingly he, he I mean, he put up a spectacle, a spectacle about his swimming. And um, he kind of took two, three rounds around the, around the pond with, with amazing speed. And by the time he finished his big drama and came out, we had more to talk about what he did afterwards rather than that fall. It was more about knowing how to recover after having fallen flat. And that's exactly how Thomas does it today. He's fallen flat with, with that statement that he makes, I will not believe until I put my, my finger into his, his side. I will not believe. You know, there are many times when I've thought to myself, it sounds more like a child, a childlike uh, insistence. You know, everyone else got to see it. I want to see it as well. And so it comes from there. I know that I once preached on that as well. You know, that everyone else got to see it, so even I want to see it. And so Thomas said what he said. But the reality is Thomas did doubt because Jesus says that. That is where the catch is. Jesus says that Thomas doubts. When, when Jesus spoke to him and uh, the Lord tells him, do not doubt but believe. In, in John chapter 20, verse, verse 27. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt but believe. So that's where Thomas has kind of fallen flat. But it's the recovery that is amazing. You know, generally, they pictureize St. Thomas, especially this incident. I know we've done it for the, um, for the thumbnail of the online streaming today as well. We've put up that picture. How do you, how do you pictureize this incident? Have you ever seen this picture, this incident pictureized? You know, artists have put up the picture of how Thomas, you know, the, the incident of Thomas doubting. How is it pictureized? You haven't seen that? You're kidding me. You haven't seen that. You know, you have the picture of Thomas putting his finger into Jesus' side. You haven't seen that? If you haven't seen that, go and Google it. It's important you see that. That's one of the things. It's, uh, it, it'll stick in our mind. You know, it's, it's Thomas looking closely at the wound and then putting his hand into that, that wound. That is not biblical. He didn't do it. That, that is picturized, of course, by, by painters. But that is not what he, he did. What he did is interesting because what he did is his recovery. When he says so beautifully, my Lord and my God. I think that's the beauty of, of St. Thomas. The fact that he fell is a reality. But the way he stood up is even more amazing. And that is why when we speak of St. Thomas, one of the most emphatic statements about Jesus, proclamations about Jesus, is what St. Thomas does immediately after having fallen when he says, my Lord and my God. And I think that's a beautiful sign and a beautiful um, example for us as well. We are people who fall. And that's the reality of our life. We are disciples who make mistakes. But more than just about making mistakes, it's about how well we recover that is important. 
rather than falling and thinking to ourselves and I have no, I have no hope from this and just remaining in that rut and refusing to stand again. That is, that is what the Lord doesn't expect of us. We expect it to stand again. We expect it to recover. It's beautifully, it's said in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those from verse 31, 30 and 31, even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Even if we have fallen, those who renew their strength, they shall mount up like wings, like eagles. Mount up with wings like eagles. We read in the book of prophet Micah, or Micah, in chapter 7, verse 7. Chapter 7, verse 7. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. I will look to the Lord. And that's what, that's what St. Thomas did. Even though he made that mistake, he looked to the Lord and his recovery was beautiful. We make mistakes. Let's look to the Lord. Let the recovery be beautiful. That is what Jesus is looking forward to. How we recover from the faults and mistakes that we have committed. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Lord Jesus, we are not perfect. Very often we are like Thomas. We doubt. We are confused. At times our faith dwindles. And we fall flat. But give us the grace to be like St. Thomas. To know how to stand again. To recover well enough. And proclaim, my Lord and my God. Amen.